welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna be making my own chicos for the first time. It seems pretty easy, like the ingredients that you need, you just need like, um, you need tomato, onion powder, and garlic powder. You can use the actual like garlic or onion, but I don't really want to. So I'm just gonna use onion powder and garlic powder. So chicos is a place here in El Paso, if you guys don't know, or if you guys aren't from El Paso. So chicos is like, a local spot that a lot of people go to some people like it and then some people don't like it so you're like either you're in between those two chicos is known for like their flautas with like their tomato juice i don't know what juice it is but like it's just like flautas in a bowl with juice on it so that's what i'm gonna try and make like i love chicos but um recently i've been trying to stay away from meat since i've been trying to stay away from meat um we went and what I did was I got the juice on the side and then I just got french fries and when I went to Sprouts today I got um, vegetable broth and then I got four tomatoes. I also got these because if you guys remember in my vegan video I tried these but I had the, the chicken one and my mom's friend from work she's a vegan so she said she tried the beef and the chicken ones and she said that she liked the beef ones better so I went and I got the beef ones. I'm only going to wash two tomatoes because it's only me and I don't want to make too much. I don't know if I'm supposed to spray the pan or if I just put them on there. I'm just going to let those toast a little bit. And then I think that's pretty much all I have to do. I don't know if I should do powder um, seasonings or if I should actually use like the, the real thing. I think I might use onion and garlic. Okay, I actually have the fresh stuff. So I think I'm just going to do the fresh things. I think it might taste better or... I don't know. I don't know how it would taste with the powder, but I think it might taste good with um, the real thing. Recently, I've been trying to cook a little bit more, like just like learn like little things. Like I already knew how to make rice and like um, sopa de fideo and like all of that, like those pastas. I recently learned how to make um, refried beans, so that's super cool. Like I made it um, the other day for my little cousin because she loves refried beans. Well, I do too. But yeah, so I made beans for my little cousin and I felt so like, ooh, like so cool because I knew how to make beans, um, like from scratch. Okay guys, so the tomatoes are roasting. This one's getting soft. I need all of them to get like this. I ended up adding a third one so that way um, I can make a little bit more so that way when my mom gets home from work, she can try it. But I'm just waiting for these two to get a little bit more like that one. I think while I wait for those to finish roasting, I'm gonna put this stuff in there with the vegetable broth. I don't think my tomatoes are gonna fit in here. Maybe I could just put one and then blend it and then put another one and then blend it. This one looks like if it's almost done. I don't know if it's supposed to be more like soft. I've never done this. Okay, I think I'm just gonna wait a little bit more for them to get like this. Maybe I can start blending this one. It's not going, okay, okay. It does look like the one it just needs to be a little bit more red so I think once I put the two um, the two other tomatoes then it'll look like the chicos one for some reason those aren't like toasting or getting as um, soft as this one was the last time we went to chicos we got some chile from them so we got some chile so that's gonna be perfect because it's like chile from chicos I'm hoping once I put the other two, I can kind of get a like feeling like how it's gonna taste. Okay, guys, so they're kind of like soft like the other one now. I think I'm just gonna put them in and then see how it works. Hopefully, I'm not rushing it. I think it's missing something. I like. Oh, I mean, not that you guys can smell it, but it like feels like if it's missing something. So I think I'm gonna add some garlic powder, some onion powder. Maybe that'll work. What about some consomme? I don't know if this will help. Cause it just like, it needs like a little bit more flavors, like spices, because it kind of tastes a little watery. 
So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna boil my sauce into this pan and cook it a little bit more. So while that's boiling, I'm gonna put these on the same pan that I did my tomatoes on. It's almost done, so this is already boiling up and then these are getting toasty. And then I just have this cheese right here, so I'm gonna use this. And then well, I have the chile from Chicos. So I'm actually really excited to see how this tastes. Like it smells really good, it smells good right now. I'm kind of excited to see how it tastes, but if it doesn't taste good, then I can always try again and hopefully it'll come out better next time. food right here it kind of smells a little different it doesn't really smell like chicos so I'm a little bit nervous about that my mouth is watering this is also my first time trying the beef flauta so it could also be that guys that is delicious I just learned how to make my own chicos. If you guys have never tried chicos, then I will leave all the ingredients that you need down below in the description so that way you guys can try it because it was actually pretty good. Like it's not exactly how chicos taste, but it's like a pretty good, like it's right there. You guys can use any boxed um, like flautas or you guys can make your own flautas at home. So yeah guys, this was my attempt at making chicos for the first time at home. I think it turned out pretty good. I'm not gonna lie because I really did enjoy this. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on your post notifications so that way you guys don't miss a video and I will see you guys next time. Bye.